Hi, I'm Jennifer Takaki. Welcome to this edition of the Pickle Club TV. This is pickle news that you can use. We are at the New York International Gift Fair in New York City, and we thought it might be fun to see what items might be relevant to the pickle lover in your life. You know, if you have pickles and kids, there would be a better product than these. These are awesome. You know, if you see this, this is a hamburger, and it has a little pickle. These little items are wooden items that go together, so you can actually pick a watermelon. But how cute is this? We're gonna go grocery shopping, and look what I got in my cart. I've got a carrot, I've got a lemon, I'm gonna pickle some corn, um, pickled peppers. Who hasn't had a pickled pepper? But love this, look, there's a tomato, you have a cucumber, but I think these are just really fun. We're Hint Mint, we make a, the original designer breath mint and we're a luxury lifestyle accessory. We have peppermint, cinnamon, chocolate, black licorice, green tea, and our new flavor is a pomegranate acai sour. From the Pickle Club, and I wanted to present it to you and your coworker. Nice. It's the Pickle Club Mint. And it's the after pickle, pickle mint. mint. Yeah. Click, click, click. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Show us how the click clack works. So we have the shrink wrap off. Ah, oh, check that out. How do you click it back? Clip up and then. And you click and you clack. Thank you. Fred designs products that function as well as have a sense of humor. For example, we know how we're all at a party and we're trying to get our hors d'oeuvre and we are also trying to hold on to our drink. Right. So you can use finger food and you can have your snack. So this could be for like like gherkins. Or, or pickled olives yes, or awesome. pickled beets. We can also pickle broccoli. Did you know yes, that? Yes, I didn't know that. And you could pickle asparagus and you could have it on a finger plate. Or well, we could do... Pickle shots. Pickle shots. Oh, cool. Shots of pickle juice. Our in-house design studio have a couple of designers from Rhode Island School of Design, a gal who went to Savannah School of Art, and they percolate great ideas like our food face, where you can put a pickled cucumber slice and pickled fruit and create a face. We sell gifts and gadgets and just for all different types of people, kids, older people, yeah, these are pets that breathe. They actually, if you look right here, they are breathing. It'll continuously breathe for about 10 months. And are these popular? It was in People Magazine's top 10 about three years ago. It's for people like uh, assisted living homes, nursing homes, can't have pets anymore. Uh... A green product lunch kit. This is double walled, so you could put your pickles in here. Take them with you, it'll keep them cool all day, or you can put them in a food grade plastic, so it's BPA free. Condiments, stainless steel, BPA free water bottle. Put in ice or pickles. Pickles, right? Uh, the company is Elope, everybody's laughing on planet Earth. We create fun, creative, whimsical hats, glasses, and headwear accessories. Some of our items that might be pickle oriented, I have heard that King Tut had pickles way back when. We have a great King Tut hat right here on the oh, top. Oh, let's check it out. So you just knew that pickle fact off the top of your head? I, I did, believe it or not. Yeah. I think King Tut was a little worried about his food unless it was pickled. And then I have a pair of glasses that I can relate to a pickle man yesterday at the deli. Who, sold you uh, the guy who like sold that? me the pickles in the deli up off Lexington last night. What a great pickle patch. Pick a pickle? I think you were closer to <laughs> pre-cucumber. Okay, how about a pickle farmer hat. Okay. What do you think? Do I look like a cucumber farmer? I think it's pretty good. <laughs> it even has the pickle color. Did you know I launched the business in November. I was a comedy writer from LA. I was at a, a Chinese restaurant looking at the placemat and I said, why isn't there a Jewish zodiac? What would it be? It wouldn't be dragon and ox, it would be bagel and lox. It would be deli foods. So I created the placemat and then from there I brought in an artist who does these great vintage uh, Images, the year of the bagel, year of the black and white, we got chopped liver, egg cream, we got year of the lox, year of the pastrami, lintz, chicken soup, year of the knish, latka, which is a big seller during Hanukkah, year of the pickle, and then year of the schmear. Seth was in one of our very early segments. We did a segment about right. your stuff in January for the At Chinese Katz's New Year's Deli. Special. And you said to me, you know, pickle's going to be your best seller. I go, well, I don't know. We just started a business. And you know what? After, let's see, what is it, eight months now? Pickle is the number one seller. And if it weren't for the Pickle Club, uh, you helped, You were the first one to, get to even notice the Jewish Zodiac. What, so what year are you? Uh, I was born in 1943. Okay. And so, I think you told me that I am the year of the chicken soup. 
Uh, you're a healer, nourishing all whom you encounter. Mothers want to bring you home to meet their children. Resist this impulse at all costs. I do want to tell you that I do love pickles. We had a great time showing you around. Hope you got some really good gift ideas. Thank you for watching.